Ihang 184 is the safest, smartest, and eco-friendly low-altitude autonomous aerial vehicle aiming on providing medium short distance transportation solution. Early in 2013, Nihong started the disruptive and revolutionary plan of making this new generation of autonomous vehicle. This vehicle is set to match three philosophies. Absolute safety by design, automation, and sync flight management platform. In 2011, Yihang's founder and CEO, Hua Zhi's best friend, Chen Ji, deceased from a flight accident. Shortly after, Hua Zhi's helicopter coach also lost his life when a helicopter malfunctioned. Those two accidents erases Hua Zhi's determination of designing an absolute safe aerial vehicle. In 2013, Hodge dropped everything, starting from designing bigger motors and augmenting his flight control system. In 2014, Guangzhou Yihang was founded and commercialized the Ghost Drone 1.0 as a consumer product. And at the same time, Yihang 184 project continues. With a reunion with his alumni and old buddies in the industry, Yihang established its core engineering team associated with Yihang 184 AAV that included Sun Xun and Liu Renping, whom Hua Zhi worked together back in 2005 and built the first coaxial double rotor helicopter in China. This is how we started. This is the uncultivated land that we use for test flights. During the raining season, we can only fly inside. Sometimes we test the AV in the dark of the night. It doesn't always go with what you expected. We took the data, analyzed the root cause, and get back to flying once more. The journey of Yihang 184 is paved with obstacles, but we keep making unremitting endeavors to successfully achieve the design KPI of prototype during the test flights. And this leads to the official project kickoff of Yihang 184 AEV. Yihang designed and developed our own propeller dynamic testing system. This is how we have done it. Yihan attracted the best talents to work on structural design, industrial modeling design, and manufacturing delivered by top composite material team. All part of Yihang 184 are designed and produced by ourselves. Here comes the official testing for Yihang 184 chassis. Group of engineers on site, troubleshooting and reload. We have the application designed for Yihang 184. After setting up the flight plan with a single click, user can take off on any location, sit, relax, and enjoy the flight. Yihang will always keep in mind of its humble beginning, put our heart and soul with the products we build absolute safety by design, automation, and sync flight management platform. A Chinese drone maker has revealed a giant quadcopter big enough to fit one passenger. Yihang claims to be building the world's first autonomous aerial vehicle for transporting people. The new mega drone was unveiled at CES in Las Vegas and the all-electric vehicle has four arms with a total of eight propellers at the end.
Nicknamed the 184, Ehang have said the vehicle is completely autonomous, so all the passenger has to do is enter in their destination on a smartphone app, sit back and let the drone take over. The drone itself has some very sophisticated backup services, so if one system fails on the drone then another one will take over. There is also a system that will halt the drone and hover in mid-air in case of an emergency. The Ehang 184, which was named for one passenger, eight propellers and four arms, can be folded up when not in use. So what exactly can the 184 Mega Drone do? Well, the fully ready to fly 184 is a manned drone capable of automatically carrying a passenger through the air simply by entering a destination onto its accompanying smartphone app. The 184 uses multiple independent flight control systems to automatically navigate passengers from point A to point B. These systems combine real-time data collected from sensors throughout the flight and automatically plot the fastest and safest route to carry passengers to their destinations. The Ehang 184 has built-in reinforcements for all flight systems so that in the unlikely event that a component does fail, multiple backups are already in place to seamlessly take over. Ehang's independently developed failsafe system ensures that if the components malfunction or if there's damage while the AAV is in flight, the aircraft will immediately begin taking the necessary precautions to ensure safety. The 184's failsafe system automatically evaluates the damage and determines whether the AAV will need to land to ensure its passenger's safety. The drone's flight control systems have multiple sets of sensors that provide the drone a constant stream of real-time data. The 184's communication system was also designed with a safety guarantee. Every system is encrypted and each AAV comes with an independent key. Ehang will also have a command center that employs people to make sure that everything is safe and that will act like an air traffic control center. This will monitor every 184 Mega Drone in the air 24 7, and the company plans to integrate it with existing air traffic controller operations. No official launch date has yet been set, but the company said commercialization will begin in a few months, and that the company will also first be launching in China and set up a command center there that will employ around 300 people, but that the US isn't far behind. They've also announced that they will be asking for a certificate from the Federal Aviation Administration very soon. What are your thoughts on the 184 Mega Drone? Would you get in it? Would you fly in it? It looks a bit dodgy to me. Please let me know down in the comment section below. Don't forget to throw a like on this video, and as always, we will see you in the next video report. Thanks for watching. With the launch of the Ehang 184 Mega Drone at CES 2016 last week, questions are now being asked as to whether human drone flight is safe, and if proven not to be, what could be done to improve it. Federal regulators have been having a field day over the safety and security of small private drones that currently fly via remote control, and even the privacy of some people has been called into question with the fitting of cameras on these devices. Human flying drones take this to a whole new level, as you will now be able to observe people directly from a flying or driving vehicle that is basically powered by a computer. Safety of these devices has also been called into question, with some being described as fail-safe and other companies saying that no automatic drone or vehicle can be described as safe. Let's take an example. You're riding in a computer-driven car. Suddenly, a woman with a child steps out in the road in front of you by accident and the only two options for the computerised vehicle are 1. Swerve into oncoming traffic and risk killing other riders or 2. Swerve in the other direction, avoiding the oncoming traffic and the pedestrian but plunging you off a 300 foot cliff. These are all questions that will need to be answered by companies that are creating computer driven vehicles whether they are road based or fly. What are your thoughts on this story? Can car and drone makers make vehicles safe to fly and drive in when a computer is completely in charge? Please let me know down in the comments section below what you think. Please don't forget to throw a like on the video and we will see you in the next edition of the Videla Report. Thank you for watching.